Okay, so we're going to get a little bit deeper into the two-dimensional drawing on Inventor. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, New again. So actually, we're not going to click New. We're going to click the drop-down menu and click Part. So we're inside a part. And we're going to go ahead and get our 2D sketch going. So we click the 2D sketch. We just are going to go ahead and click on the X to Z plane. Now we're inside a sketch, and we can see that because on our browser bar, we see that we're inside sketch one. Sketch line one is highlighted there. Everything else is grayed out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to, um, to create a couple of lines here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click, drag, click, and we're going to purposely make these lines um, kind of askew. Okay, so right click, OK, go back, oops, go back into the line tool. We're going to purposely make these lines not parallel and not perpendicular. Okay, we're going to create a, just a couple more lines here. Notice that I'm going out of my way not to make them parallel or perpendicular. Okay, and notice how I can tell that because if I get it right on perpendicular, oh, that one is not doing it. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to go out of my way not to make them parallel or perpendicular. I'm also going to go ahead and make a circle. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit about constraints. So constraints are, um, are the way that you can make two, two parts of a drawing act a certain way. So let's say I wanted to make a line. Um, let's make, go ahead and make a rectangle. Notice that when I make a rectangle, it actually shows me the constraints here. So notice that this, this, this line and this line this line and this line. There's a perpendicular constraint here. Okay, these are these are parallel constraints, and this is a um, a horizontal constraint. So, in actuality, when I draw a a uh, rectangle, what uh, oops, what Autodesk is doing when I draw on a rectangle, what Autodesk is doing is actually making four connected lines that are all constrained to act as a rectangle. So it's a rectangle because of the constraints that are put on those lines. So with the lines that I've drawn, let's go ahead and, and apply some constraints. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right-click OK to get out of the rectangle tool. And I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go down to Show All Constraints. So notice there's a hotkey F8 that I can use also, so Show All Constraints. So notice the only thing in this in this uh, um, drawing that has constraints is the rectangle. So let's go up here, and the constraints will actually highlight. Um, so notice that I can make things coincident. I can make them collinear. I can make them concentric. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's make one more circle, just like a small circle. And let's go ahead and start to add some of these constraints. So first of all, I'm going to make um, two lines collinear. So I'm going to click collinear. I'm going to click the first line and click the second line. And notice now those two lines now occupy, occupy the same line in space. So I can drag them, right? Okay. And notice, though, that I can't move them off of that same line. Notice how they're locked in place. I can't just move them wherever I want because of that constraint. Now let's go ahead and delete the constraint. So I can actually right-click and click Delete. Now I can move the line wherever I want. Okay. Let's take an example of concentric. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click the concentric constraint. I click circle one, click circle two. Now those circles are concentric. I go ahead and click OK. And now, no, even if I try to move the circle, notice that they stay concentric. I can grab the middle and move them, but they move as one. Okay. Now I'm going to do parallel. So I go ahead. I click the parallel constraint. I click one line. I click two lines. They're now parallel. I can click, I can do the uh, um, perpendicular constraint. I click the first line, I click the second line. Those lines are now perpendicular. Notice that one went off the, um, off the screen there. So it actually went way over here. So I can go ahead and move that back. Oops, I'm dragging the constraint. <laughs> so notice that no matter where I move it, it's going to stay perpendicular to the other line. Okay, um, I can also make a particular line um, horizontal or vertical. So if I go ahead and click, notice I just, because that line was highlighted, I clicked horizontal. And 
and it, it made that a horizontal constraint. Uh, of course, I can also click vertical. And if I go ahead and click on this line, notice that it's vertical. Vertical and horizontal is relative, of course, because of the way that I'm looking at the actual, if you notice in my Explorer cube, I'm actually looking at this kind of at a weird angle. So, um, so the vertical is actually vertical. Uh, horizontal is actually horizontal. It looks a little bit better now. Okay, also I can make lines tangent. So let's say that I want to make a tangent. I can click the circle and I can click the line that I want them to be tangent to. I click OK. And notice that no matter where I move this line, it will be tangent to the circle. Okay, so as you can see, when you're 2D drawing, like the 2D drawing is a collection of constraints. So go ahead and try it on your own. You're basically going to draw just some sample um, sample items in the drawing, and then go ahead and try to exercise all these constraints. Just go ahead and try to um, just try to apply a bunch of the constraints. Uh, the final one that we didn't do was equivalent. So if I click two lines, I can make them equivalent in length two circles, I can make them equivalent size. Okay, uh, go ahead and try it on your own.